Hello, my name is Kevin Wallace and I'm director of the Beatrice Woods Center for the Arts and Happy Valley Cultural Center in Ojai, California. We are an activity of the Happy Valley Foundation, which was created in 1927 by Annie Besant, a remarkable woman who spent her life working to better the world through writing, activism, and education. A lot of people who visit the center tell us that Beatrice Wood is one of their heroes, but Wood's hero was Dr. Besant, which is why, at the age of 80, Beatrice Wood built her home and studio on Happy Valley land, where she went on to spend the happiest decades of her life. Beatrice Wood ultimately left everything to carry on Dr. Besson's vision for humanity. As an activity of an educational nonprofit foundation, we present exhibitions, workshops, and performances, and are open to the public Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, when there is not a pandemic that causes us all to embrace social distancing, which is why I'm creating this video, to safely share who we are and what we do, and hopefully what we'll continue to do if we can survive the financial impact of it all. As one might expect, a lot of our work concerns sharing Beatrice Wood with the public. Visitors view her work and learn about her life and the fascinating individuals who are part of it. We are also largely concerned with Beatrice Wood's interests, modern art and folk art from around the world, philosophy and art movements from Dadaism to the designer craftsmen. Like Annie Besant, Beatrice Wood was greatly concerned with humanity, and so our work is meant to inspire, educate, and hopefully make the world a better place. The center also functions as something of a historical society as the only activity of the Happy Valley Foundation that is open to the public. We share the stories of the fascinating individuals who have been involved with the foundation. J. Krishnamurti, Aldous Huxley, Robert Logan, Rosalind Rajagopal, and so many others. We also share the foundation's important mission. On the back patio of the center are wonderful views of Happy Valley. A lot of our workshops and other activities take place on the back patio. Quite often we lose track of visitors only to find them relaxing there and commuting with nature. We refer to Beatrice Wood's studio as the heart of the center, as it was her favorite place. When asked about the secret of her longevity, Beatrice Wood answered, art books, young men, and chocolate. But fact is that she lived an inspired life where she loved creating her work. These are the last bowls Beatrice Wood threw, but never got around to glazing. These are Beatrice Wood's original plaster molds. We maintain Beatrice Wood's studio as a living museum with her wheels, kilns, and tools as she left them. Yet the studio is central to our workshops and educational programming. A sculpture of Beatrice Wood by Marsha Brook. Visitors must get past Zelda, the center's ferocious watchdog. As she's aging and deaf, this is often easy to do because she's sleeping in the office and doesn't hear people come in. She does her best to stay on the job, though. Beatrice Wood's patio furniture, which she painted a few times over the decades. The view from Beatrice Wood's bedroom, where visitors can read about her life while viewing her work, folk art collection, photos, and memorabilia. The hallway leads to our office, the kitchen, the restroom, and the library and study center. Currently, we have works from a recent exhibition of the artist Alice and Yusum installed there. This work, which captures swallows gathering mud for their nests, is a reminder that soon the swallows will be returning to Happy Valley to build their mud nests all around the center and create a new generation before returning to their winter homes in South America. 
We have a large display case of memorabilia which shares the Foundation's history and Beatrice Wood's life. There are photographs, letters, books, jewelry awards, and this is Annie's Besant with Charles W. Leadbeater. Leadbeater wrote 69 books, while Annie Besant authored over 300 books and pamphlets. A copy of the publication of The Order of the Star, with an article by Beatrice Wood. The Kingdom of Happiness, published in 1927, the year Krishnamurti went on a speaking tour of the same name, and the Happy Valley Foundation was created, with the purchase of the 500 acres of land in Upper Ojai, where the center resides today. One of Krishnamurti's Robes A letter from the great acting teacher Stanislavski and a photo that Beatrice Wood took of Marcel Duchamp at the Ehrensburg's home in Hollywood. Beatrice Wood said that Duchamp was the most handsome, charming, intelligent man in the whole world. Speaking of Duchamp, there was a drawing that he asked Beatrice Wood to create for a poster to promote a Dada event, and she drew this figure, which came to be known as the Blind Man. This sculpture, inspired by the drawing and created by a different artist, often finds visitors posing with it while similarly balancing on one leg and thumbing their nose. Today, Beatrice Wood's showroom is called the Beto Gallery and it features changing exhibitions. This is an exhibition of work by Patricia Keller, which we'll be sharing in a separate video. The center consists of two homes, Beatrice Wood's and that of her best friend, Rosalind Rajagopal. Rosalind was in charge of both the school and the foundation and was the one who invited Beatrice Wood to sell her home in Lower Ojai and build her home on the same hilltop. The two women lived beside each other, separated by a wall of bamboo that burned down in the Thomas Fire. Today, visitors follow a yellow path from one building to the other. Rosalind's former home is known as Logan House, named after her close friend Robert Logan, one of the individuals who cared for Annie Besant's vision over the decades and made certain that the Happy Valley Foundation survived the Great Depression and World Wars. Today, Logan House is used for exhibitions and performances, including our chamber music program, Chamber on the Mountain. Currently, there is an exhibition of photographs by Jacqueline Thurston from her recent book, Sacred Deities of Ancient Egypt. We will share more about this exhibition in a separate video. The book is highly recommended. If you've never visited the center, we hope this video gives you a sense of the place. We hope that you're able to visit one day. And if you've been to the center or are members of the community, we look forward to reopening the center soon so that you can come and visit again. Until then, keep an eye on our website and follow us on social media. Peace to all beings.